defeated, career angles. My Angelou said, you may encounter many defeats, but you must not be defeated. The dictionary definition of defeat is very interesting. The first definition is having been beaten in a battle or other contest. The second one is the more interesting one, demoralized and overcome by adversity. The second definition speaks of the impact of the loss and how it affects you as a person. It's an emotional response. It's how you interpret the events rather than the events themselves. But when you look at most of the things for which you may feel defeated, they shouldn't leave you demoralized, yet they do. They shouldn't leave you overcome by adversity, but they have. Permitting yourself the luxury of feeling defeated reflects something about you and your unwillingness to persevere. Now, if your alleged defeat was caused by a blind spot that someone took advantage of, you may be feeling ashamed of having made a mistake. That's different than feeling defeated. If you feel defeated because you made a mistake, you can learn something from the moment and not make the same mistake or similar ones in the future. After all, as long as they have not been fatal, you can recover from mistakes. I just want to point out that in very few instances have you been defeated in a battle or another contest that has any consequences. You were demoralized and you can bounce back from that. How long it takes to do so reflects upon you and upon your human resilience. How long do you choose to wallow in the feeling of being overcome by adversity is your choice. Boxers get punched in the mouth and it hurts, but they've been trained to rebound from most of the punches in the mouth by either ignoring them or learning from them and fighting and persevere. You can too.